Hey kids, it's me, Pastor Scott. I am so glad that we are back together again this week. And I hope that you brought with you your dancing shoes. Because right now, we are going to stand up and we are going to dance for the Lord. We are going to sing joyfully about the joy that is in our hearts. Let's sing together. Now this first song that we're going to sing is a very special song for me because it's a song I used to sing when I was a kid. But I think you're going to love it. It is all about having joy in the Lord. Okay? You'll catch on pretty quick. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sing I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. And then, even though I can't hear you, I know you're going to do this, you're going to shout, Where? And then I'm going to sing, down in my heart. And you're going to, and you're going to, every time you hear me say, I've got the joy, 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 down in my heart, you're going to say, very good. You guys got this. I like your style. Okay, here we go. I've got the joy, 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 down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Awesome work, guys! We're gonna do it with different words now, you ready? I've got peace that passes understanding down in my heart where? Down in my heart, down in my heart, I've got the joys of peace that passes understanding down in my heart, down in my heart to stay, and I'm so happy, so very happy, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, now I am happy, got the love of Jesus in my heart. Well. That was good too. You guys think you can do another one? Okay. Here we go. We got the love of Jesus. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart Woo! Good, good work, guys. Okay, I got one more to do, and it's real tough. So just be ready. You ready? Okay. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Down in the depths of my heart. Where? Down in the depths of my heart. I've got the wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down in the depths of my heart. Down in the depths of my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Woo! Wonderful work, guys. That was awesome. But I'm out of breath, you know, saying wonderful love of my blessed Redeemer way down on the depths of my heart. That's really gotten to me. I'm, whew. Whew. Let's take a moment. All right, are you guys ready for another one? I hope so. Because here we go. We are going to sing one that I know you know. Written in the Word, in the good, good Word, is a message from our God. And we're going to tell you all about it. So, let's do it. Mmm, yeah. Written in the word, in the good, good word Is a message from our God Gonna tell you all about it How to get to the kingdom The good life Written in the word, in the good, good word Is a message from our God Gonna tell you all about it How to get to the kingdom The good life And I love Jesus Na 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 hey hey 
And I love Jesus. Na 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 na. Hey hey. Written in the Word, in the good good Word, is a message from our God. Going to tell you all about it. How to get to the kingdom. The good life. Written in the Word, in the good good Word, is a message from our God. Going to tell you all about it. How to get to the kingdom. The good life. And I love Jesus. Na 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 na. Hey hey. And I love Jesus. Na 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 na. Hey hey. Faster now. Written in the Word, in the good good Word, is a message from our God. Gonna tell you all about it. How to get to the kingdom. The good life. Written in the Word, in the good good. Is a message from our God gonna tell you all about it? How to get to the kingdom, the good life, and I love Jesus. Na 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 na. Hey hey, woo! And I love Jesus. Na 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 na. Hey hey, woo! Are you ready? We gotta go real fast now. Written in the word. Word and the God gonna tell you all about it. I get to the kingdom. The good life. Written in the word and the good good word. And the my God gonna tell you all about it. I get to the kingdom. The good life. And I love Jesus. Na 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 na. Hey. And I love Jesus. Na 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 na. Hey. Okay. We're gonna go even faster than that. We did it last time, so we can do it. But before we get there, we gotta shake it out, okay? We shake, shake your arms, put it on the sky, shake your legs, get a little bit of a groove going. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Written the word of goodness, man, you tell about it. Woo! Written the word of goodness, man, you tell you about it. Woo! And I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Hey. Woo! Well done, guys. Awesome work. You guys can grab a seat because we're about to dive into the Bible. Now, before we jump right into this book right here, I want to show you guys some of the great artwork that I received last, from last week's stream. I asked you guys to put together a list of things that you are thankful for, and I want to show you those right now. The first list we have is from Dakota. Now, Dakota's thankful for his family and for God. Amen, brother. Those are fantastic things to be thankful for. Next, we have a list from Penelope, who was thankful for oatmeal, Play-Doh, chia pudding, her family, and water. Mmm. It's so good to hear that what you're thankful for, Penelope. Thank you for sharing. Now we have a list from Elizabeth, who was thankful for her family, for books, and for warm milk. I'm starting to get a vibe from Elizabeth that she loves milk. And you know what? I love milk too, so that's totally awesome. Next, we have Ashley, who sent us a list as well. And it says that she's thankful for her family, for food, and this is a big one, for Wi-Fi. Praise God that he has helped us to communicate with others over the internet. And this last list comes to us from Matthew. He's thankful for family, for broccoli, and bacon. Man, you guys are making me hungry. Wow, that's so cool, guys. Thank you so much for sharing with us today, I want to take a moment. Let's pray for those things and thank God for giving them to us. Lord, we thank you for everything that you give to us. We thank you most of all for our family. Our family that takes care of us, that loves us, that shows us the love of your son. And speaking of your son, Lord, we thank you for Jesus. For without Jesus, our sins could never be forgiven. We thank you for the love that you have lavished upon us. And we ask that you would be with us 
Lord, thank you for providing for us, for giving us food like broccoli and milk and chia pudding and bacon, bacon most of all, Lord. We just thank you so much for all the things that you do for us and we ask that you would continue to keep us going and, and follow in your pathways, Lord. Be with us in your name, amen. All right, well today I wanna take us to a very special part of scripture. How many of you guys know what the longest book of the Bible is? No idea, huh? Well, let me tell you. The longest book of the Bible is Psalm 119. It is insanely long. It has 176 verses in it. That's wild. And today we are looking at that book. Don't worry, we're only going to read eight verses. But those eight verses are so good. They are some of my favorite parts of the Bible. So let's read together. Psalm 119 verses 105 to 112 say, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I have taken an oath and confirmed it that I will follow your righteous laws. I have suffered much. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your word. Accept, Lord, the willing praise of my mouth and teach me your laws. Though I constantly take my life in my hands, I will not forget your law. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your precepts. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. Mm, I love those words. These words are all about God's word his precepts, his statutes, his laws, his decrees. In other words, this passage is all about this book right here. The part that I love most about these verses is that it's really the author shouting about how much he loves the Bible, about how much God's word means to him. You know, sometimes I feel like we use the Bible like it's a tool. We pull it out so we can fix our problems. And then when we're done with it, our problem is fixed. We close our Bible and we put it away. But it seems like this guy is, he's treating the Bible more like his favorite stuffed animal. It's with him wherever he goes. It comforts him when he's sad. It brings him so much happiness. It's his best friend. Now, this is one of my stuffed animals, one of my favorites. This is Steg. He is a Stegosaurus. And when I was a young boy, I brought this guy with me everywhere that I went. He was the first face I saw when I woke up in the morning, and he was the last face I saw when I went to bed. Me and Steg were never apart. We were almost inseparable. And even now, when I look at him, I can't, I can't help but smile. He's just, he brought me so much joy, so much happiness. I, I, I love Steg. He's one of my best friends. And that's what the Bible can be for us. It can be a great friend that gives us so much happiness and joy. But if we don't read our Bibles, we can't get that joy. If I were to put Steg away for a while, I would probably forget about him. I would forget all of the great memories that I had with him. And then I would maybe uh, forget all that joy. And I wouldn't get any more joy from it because I, I don't have him anymore. He's gone. It's the same with the Bible. If we put this word away and stop reading it and stop hearing from it, we can't have that joy that the psalmist is speaking about. And that's why we need to make time to read God's word. But that's kind of tough. That's often really difficult because a steg is a stuffed animal. He's, a, he's like a teddy bear. But the Bible's not a teddy bear. The Bible isn't, you can't pretend that this Bible is another astronaut joining you on a journey to space. It 
this Bible can't sip tea and eat cookies with you at a tea party. And this is a book that's meant to be read. But sometimes the words are complicated and it takes some time to really understand what God's word is saying to us. And that's why we need to make time to understand it. When I was a young boy, every time that I went to my grandfather's house I, and stayed the night, my grandfather, my papa, would read me a story. We would tuck me into bed and I would sit there, eyes aglow, ready to hear a great story. And he would read me that story. But then after every story, before we turned off the lights and said goodnight, he would open up God's word and he would read it with me. And we would pray together. At first, all I wanted was the story. I didn't care about the Bible. I just wanted to hear the great tales he was telling me. But over time, I began to really cherish and love that time with the Lord. And I, wouldn't, I would give anything to be a young boy hearing my grandfather read scripture to me again. And even now, even though my grandfather doesn't tuck me into bed anymore, I still read my Bible before I go to bed because that is my time with God. It took me a long time to get there, but I take that time now regularly. And because I take that time with God, I get to say the same things that the psalmist says. I get to say things like, your word is a lamp to my feet, showing me where to go. Your word has comforted me. The Bible preserves my life and teaches me how to praise God. And when everything feels wrong, it's where I turn. I go to the Bible because that's God's word and he is speaking to me. And I will keep and follow God's laws, his decrees. I will follow his word, the Bible, until the very end of my life. So, this week, I have two challenges for you. The first challenge, I'm sure you're pretty much prepared for at this point. If you don't already have a piece of paper, you're going to need one. I want you to write down Psalm 119 verse 111 down on a piece of paper and then decorate it. And that verse is, your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. Your decorations should probably have hearts on it. It would be weird if there weren't hearts all over it. But I get it if you don't want to do hearts. That's fine. Once you've done this and decorated your page, then you guessed it, you're going to put it on your fridge beside your other artwork. But we're going to do something special this week. Instead of just sending me a picture of your art, I want you to send me a picture of your art surrounded by all of your favorite stuffed animals. This is going to remind you that we aren't going to hide the Bible away, but we are going to Cherish it and love it like a best friend, like our stuffed animals. All right? Now, the second challenge is this. And I believe that this is the most important challenge I have given you so far. Tonight, before you go to bed, I want you to ask somebody to read the Bible with you. I want you to talk to your mom or your dad or your grandmother or your aunt or even your older sister or brother, I want you to ask them to read the Bible with you. And I want you to ask them to read from the first chapter of Mark's gospel. Okay? And then when you've read a little bit, I want you guys to pray together. Because I believe that this is an important thing that we should do. We need to prepare ourselves to be reading God's word every day. Now, parents, if you're watching... I, I implore you, please, read scripture with your kids. Read scripture with your spouse. Pray with them. You'll be blown away by all the things that God does when you invite him into your family time. And so please, as one friend to another, read God's word. Love it. Get deep into it. 
Let it be a lamp to your feet. Now, I'm going to pray for us, and then you guys are going to be free to go. Let's pray. Lord, your word is so good. It strengthens us in times of hardship, and in it, we find hope and peace. God, thank you for speaking to us through the Bible. Help us to make time for reading it, and may you bless each of us as we dive headfirst into your magnificent word. All of these things I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I hope that you guys have a stupendous week. I hope that you guys get all your challenges to me. I've really loved seeing all the work you guys have done so far. And next week, oh boy, next week, let me tell you, that challenge is going to be real fun. So, remember, read your Bible, and I would love to see your challenges sent to me. Have a great day. Bye.